Good afternoon. We begin with a press conference for Jamaica national team. We are in the table. Hamer Hobinson is the head coach for Jamaica. So if in person have a question, you can hand it. Raise your hand. Coach, coach, congrats on the on the first win in the in the tournament. Um, three changes to the team, all in the in the back four. Do you want to talk a little bit about the um, varying reasons that you made those those changes? Yeah, we have a we have a a good depth in the squad. Not big difference between some players. Um, so yeah, we've we've tried these players in these positions. So. It was Javain for Dexter, uh, very equal players, and, and it's good to give both a ride, uh, a chance to play. Um, Amari was a little bit injured, so we didn't want to risk him, so that is why <clears throat> why we changed the left back. And Taxi played there, did a good job. At halftime, he, he felt stiffening up, so he wanted to come off, so we needed to do a change there, so we moved Dexter to left back. And then um, Latte Patier played uh, right back in the second half, so it was a lot of changes in the in in, in the in these positions. Uh, and then just the rotation in the centre backs, and I think Dijon Bernard had an outstanding game today. So I hope Jamaicans are happy to to see that as a young centre back coming up. Really, it was really uh, yeah, he he he, he, um, he showed his strength and character in this game, and uh, yeah. And defense in in general was was really good today. I don't think. I don't think Trinidad created a chance, except for that goal. I think that was the only chance they created today. So that shows how good defensive game we played today. Coach, if you could just talk about two players, Demara, birthday boy's performance um, today. You know, brilliant. Um, and young Dijon Whisper Richards coming on. Is that precisely what your sort of role you're expecting him to play when you when you chose him to the to the squad? Yeah, if we start on, on, on Whisper, normally I don't like to talk about individual players, but um, I was criticized for picking the kid. Or we were criticized by picking the kid. And he only needed ten minutes to score a goal youngest goal scorer in the history of the Gold Cup. So that shows why we selected him. Um, and he's, he's, I don't think he, even he knows what he's going to do. The opponents don't know what he's going to do and, and he's lethal. I, I have to admit when he took the shot, I was, why are you shooting from this range? But he scored from it. So, you know, he, he's kind of a guy that defies the odds a little bit. And uh, all teams need players like him and like we said on the press conference yesterday he has a lot to learn but he still knows a lot and can do a lot today uh, Dimi uh, uh, you know uh, everybody knew he, he, he was it was a long time coming I think we started to talk about Dimi coming to Jamaica two years ago or something so no it was for everyone to see how, how good individual talent he is taking players on, creating danger, really quality in everything he did with the ball and he's, he's fast as well. So it will take time for him to, to, to get into the tactics and, and get to know the players around him. But I think it was a good good birthday present he gave to us, scoring two goals and creating. I think he had a, a, a really good game today. Yeah. Robert Williams, IRFM, Jamaica. Coach, congrats on your first win. Uh, the first half saw Jamaica being lethal against the Trinidad team. The second half started, conceded a goal, and it was not until the 89th that we re-established that three-goal lead. What happened in between there? I think... I think I, I want to disagree with what you're saying because we were not that bad. We created a lot of chances to score the, th the fourth goal and kill the game off. Uh, like I said, they, they created one goal scoring chance and scored from it. And that that is a good efficiency. I think we created about 15 goal scoring chances and some really, really good goal scoring chances. So 
the difference between the first half and the second half, we scored from our chances, second half we didn't. Uh, and when you, when you get a lot of chances and you don't score, then sometimes you, you, get, to, you, you get a little bit sloppy in, in what you're doing. So nothing happened. Uh, it, it was just, this, this was the difference. I would say if we scored the fourth goal instead of conceding, then it would have been a totally, totally different game. So you, you, you tend to get careful when you concede a goal. Uh, and it's football is a game of momentum. So they, they gained, the, for the first time in the game, they, they gained some momentum and in belief. And that, is, that was unfortunate. But we, we played a good defensive game as a unit and there was no danger, even though they had a momentum for, for a while. When Jamaica played against Jordan, it was said that uh, Coach Hal Grimson was has not won a game in seven outings. You must be relieved now to have gotten that off your back. How does it feel now to have come here and produce such a significant victory in this the second game of the Gold Cup tournament? It, it didn't affect me at all. I was not counting. I'll tell you another fact. I haven't lost a competitive game for Jamaica. And that is what matters in the end, the competitive matches. And uh, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure this team will, will grow as a lot of new players starting to play, um, starting to play for us. Uh, and, and yeah, we, we've selected some new players, young players, etc. So they, they will only, and we will only grow uh, as the tournament gets older, but I have to give a lot of credit to the to the coaching staff, um, to to Meron Gordon who who had this meeting I, I talked about yesterday, just to explain how much it, this this game means for Jamaicans, and I think he set the tone for the for the whole week or, or for the four days of preparation for this game, and I think the focus level was really high all this match and, and I, I want to give him a lot of credit uh, for, for this preparation for this match. Nobody have a question here? Uh, we opened the, the virtual conference. So Daniel Weller, can you make your question please? Coach Daniel Weller from Venus Sports, congratulations on your first win. Um, Two-part question. Just um, one. I know that you say you don't really like to talk about individual players, um, but can you just um, briefly highlight the performance of Kevin um, Kevin Lambert? Um, second second start for him. He seemed not to put um, um, a much foot wrong in midfield. Um, has there been in terms of reason of the, the trust? Can you talk about in terms of the trust that you have in him to to start in that midfield position and how? Have you seen him grow in the two games? And also, given the, the potent um, attacking sequences that we saw in the first half, is this just a glimpse of what Jamaicans can um, expect from the revised attack with Damari Gray, with Antonio, who had a very good game, um, hold up play, and Leon Bailey, once they've had more time to, to click and integrate? Yeah, I'll start on the, on the second one uh, about team cooperation and that is the good thing about tournaments like these ones normally in a FIFA window when you when you have players together for seven days maybe eight days maximum uh, and you have two matches within that space is so little you can do and work with uh, with uh, with them and at that time it's just to get them fresh for the first game and then reco recovery for the second game so it's always a limited time you have but when we have a tournament like this, you can always add in things uh, where, where you can improve the, the understanding between individual players, etc. And you can you can do a lot of things in a tournament, a lot of meetings uh, to explain things. So um, th that is helping us a lot. And that is why it's really important for us to be here. And that is why it's really important for us to try to make it to the to the Copa America next year as well. So we can grow as a team uh, and continue to grow. Uh, and and hopefully we we can do that. Thank you, Coach. First, first question was uh, about Kevin Lambert, and um, I think he is gaining himself confidence. It doesn't come from us. He knows how good he is. Uh, his role is is maybe a little bit more clar clarified 
from the coaching staff what is his job uh, on the pitch and I think it suits him he is a he's a hard working guy really an honest player uh, and yeah two games now for him and both of them have been really really solid thank you coach that's the final for the press conference so thank you so much for the time and have a good night welcome